Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Bob Knopf, Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Polycom. Today we're going to talk about the HDX6000. The HDX6000 provides the ultimate HD experience. The HDX6000 provides a true high definition video experience, provides HD audio with 22 kilohertz and stereo surround, and it also provides for HD content sharing capabilities. The HDX6000 is simple for everyone to use starting from setup to placing calls and even sharing content. The HDX6000 is perfect for users looking to get into video for the first time, perhaps users looking to upgrade their older video systems or looking to deploy a wider range of video systems in their network. Getting started with your HDX6000 is quite simple. All the cables ship with the unit so you can get out of box and to your first video call very quickly. The HDX6000 does ship with a quick start reference card which you'll be able to reference during your installation but for now let me go ahead and describe what you're seeing on the back panel. First off we have our power of course we'll need to plug the unit in. We have a LAN connection where you'll be plugging in your internet or network connection. Right next to the LAN connection we have a USB port. This USB port is for software upgrades and for other maintenance type activities. We have a Kensington lock port where you're able to lock the codec down to a, another surface. Now let's take a look at the bottom row. On the bottom row we start with an HDMI output. This HDMI output will connect to your television with one simple cable for both audio and video. Right next to the HDMI output we have an auxiliary audio output. You can use the auxiliary output if you're going into let's say a larger room system or additional stereo speakers or something like that. Moving along the bottom we have the HDCI input. This is for your included Eagle Eye 720 camera. Next to the camera input we have your HDX mic array input. This is where you'll be plugging in your HDX mic array. Finally we have a DVI input along with PC audio input. This is where you plug in your auxiliary HD device or your computer. And we'll go through a full step by step on how to use your PC later with the included People Plus Content IP. So now let's get started actually connecting the HDX6000 to your monitor and making your first video call. The first thing I always like to do is to connect the microphone array. So one end of the microphone array cable goes into the HDX6000 and the other side will go into the HDX microphone array. All times make sure you push the cable in to give it a nice snug feel. Don't force it too much but just make sure it's pushed all the way in. Your next stop would be to connect the Polycom Eagle Eye camera with the included HDCI cable. One end is going to go into the back of the HDX 6000. Make sure you tighten the screws that hold the cable firmly in place on both the HDX codec box itself and on the back of the camera. This will ensure a nice tight fit and also ensure in case someone's moving the monitors around that your cables won't come loose. You can now take your LAN cable again which is included, plug it into the back of the HDX 6000 on one end and on the other end plug it into your network. The included HDMI cable supports both audio and video. So in your kit of cables that are included with the system, you will not find the traditional RCA cables that would be used for audio because again, your audio and video both run over this one cable. So let's go ahead and connect this to the TV. Take one end and plug it right into your HDMI input or output I should say. The other end is going to go right onto the television. If you have an older TV or monitor, chances are it will not support HDMI. However, all the new HD monitors definitely support HDMI. Your final step in the process is to take the power cord and plug that in one end to your HDX and then the other end into the power outlet you're ready to fire up your HDX6000. Now that the HDX6000 is installed and ready to go, let's go up to my office to take a closer look at the People Plus Content IP application. 
The Polycom HDX6000 has unique ways of sharing content. One of the ways of sharing content is simply plugging in your PC or other HD device into the DVI input and sharing that as your main video source. Another way of sharing content is using a standards-based H.239 application uniquely from Polycom called People Plus Content IP. People Plus Content IP can be distributed to multiple users within an organization and those folks that do have access to the organization's network can share content with the simple click of a button. Let me show you how People Plus Content IP operates. Once installed, you simply click on the People Plus Content IP icon. Once the People Plus Content IP application opens, you simply type in the IP address of your video system that you're wanting to share content with. Once People Plus Content IP has connected to your HDX6000, the user sees two button choices. One is a stop button, just the opposite of play. So if they hit the stop button, this would stop sharing content. And also a magnifying glass. The magnifying glass allows a user to zoom in to a specific area on the presentation or spreadsheet or whatever they might be sharing with the far side. Now let's see People Plus content in action with a real video call. Hi Marty. Hey Bob, what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to demonstrate People Plus content IP. Yeah, cool. I've, I've been wanting to hear how that works. Well, great. Well, the first thing you do is you connect to your local video system. Then after you do that, you hit the play button that's found on the People Plus Content IP console. For a typical spreadsheet or, or PowerPoint presentation like I'm using right here, you can see that the graphics come in very sharp and smooth. You can see every line very clearly. If I wanted to highlight something even more for you and zoom into a specific region, I can actually use the zoom tool and zoom right in. You know, this could be used for, you know, from an architectural firm or maybe some graphic artist that's trying to point something out and it's very important for them to be able to zoom in. Then to stop the content, I can just go ahead and hit the stop button and that will stop sending content and now you and I can just go, go about having a conversation point to point again. Excellent. Thank you for joining me today to, to go through the HDX6000. If you have any further questions, please review polycom.com or contact your Polycom or Polycom authorized reseller for additional information.